backing up. Um, structures, you can see the tentacles lowering He's down. pretty close. He's in my light pool here. Yep. And we're carefully looking at the swimming bells at the bottom left of the animal. Oh, and boy. The tentacles between maybe three <laughs> or four. It's getting thrust away. And it's a big yep. question mark, actually. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Wow. Yep, we got a little bit of it caught in our um, our thruster wake there. Okay. Settling back out. You can go in, Roland. Okay. Okay, so it's a, that's beautiful. Look at that. Can you zoom in on those uh, on the transparent portion there, if possible? I know it's moving around. Up oh, and there it goes into the wrong direction. That's great. Thank you for that video. Very difficult to capture, but extremely okay. interesting. Let him go. Um, All right. To recap, nice job, Roland. That was a four. It's tough a one. Fight the next fight on a four. Heading. Coming back to uh, oh, We spun around a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, i got to zoom forward here. Coming okay. back and forth. Uh, possible oh, oh, fish. Left. And what is that? Let's go chase some oh, fish here. Left. Pushing forward. Maybe a fish, maybe a snipe eel. Let's get his head. A snipe eel. Yes? Go ahead. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's uh, Avocetina. Avocetina infant. It, uh, it uses those two, it, it's almost strictly a, a shrimp eater. And the theory is it uses those two. Um, basically, occlusable beaks. They're okay. they're actually studded with little hooks, like uh, like Velcro. And hypothetically, okay. they snag the antennae of shrimp using those uh, occlusable jaws, non-occlusable sure. stuff. That's just brilliant image. It's just a wonderful fish.